Today I'm here to show you the new and improved oil filter relocator block. You'll notice that this hole has been moved for easier access and has a slot on the back to give it full oil flow. So watch along as we install this and some new fittings on our OM617. Supplied with the new oil filter relocator plate will be longer bolts as this plate is now about an eighth of an inch thicker. What you'll want to do is install a new gasket with the plate and we'll go ahead and get this mounted up to our engine block here. So the way I like to set these up for ease of access is to install a half inch NPT male end into the plate that has a dash 10 AN JIC fitting male on the other side. So the big difference now is you'll actually be able to thread whatever fitting you want right into the block. I've moved the hole away from the injection pump so now you can easily install the fittings straight into the block. The reason I like to use these adapters though is because then I'll use a 90 degree swivel with a compression fitting on one side and my dash 10 AN or JIC fitting on the other side and that way I can hook that up to both sides of my plate That way I can hook up both sides to my plate and now if I ever want to take it off all I have to do is take off my swivel and I don't have to disturb the pipe threads because the dash 10 AN is a compression fitting and it seals on this chamfered edge here no pipe, dope, or teflon tape required however the half inch NPT threads or NPTF as they're actually called only seal technically on the first time they're installed um, once you uninstall that, reinstall it, the threads are going to be distorted enough so that you're going to have to use Teflon tape. So I like not having to worry about that, you know, if I'm out on the trail and who knows what happens or I'm fiddling with my injection pump and for whatever reason I want to take these off or let's say I'm doing an oil change, I want to drain all the oil out of the oil cooler boom I take these off real quick and easy I don't have to get into the adapter plate because if I accidentally screw something up I cross thread the fitting going into the adapter plate then I have to take the whole thing off whereas if I screw this fitting up well piece of cake I don't have to take all that off I just get myself a new fitting and voila we're back in business So that's the new and improved oil filter relocator plate. The, uh, the one difference you're going to see in this plate um, that you're going to have to maybe work around depending on how you're set up is it's a little bit thicker so that I could get a slot big enough to supply enough oil flow to this oil line. And so that's brought the oil filter relocator plate out away from the engine block and depending on where your injection pump rotational or timing retention bolt is that bolt head might be touching your adapter plate just a little bit and real easy fix if it is just mark on there with a sharpie pull her off 
just feather it out with a grinder. Won't have to take out a whole lot at all, but um, real easy fix. But again, had to bring that plate out just a hair so that we could get enough oil flow with this relocated oil line. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I think it's a huge improvement over the previous design, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Thanks.